Here our news at 5:30. The sad farewell underway right now for a teenager shot and killed in the gun insanity epidemic that is known in New York City these days. Well, today a viewing and wake for 19-year-old Crystal Bayron Nieves, a cashier at Burger King in East Harlem, who was shot and killed by a robber. In the obituary written by her mother, she says, "My heart will never let you go." Wow. The wake in New York City, the burial, however, in Puerto Rico. I would assume reporter Michelle Charlesworth is live at East Harlem tonight for us. Michelle. All afternoon, just heartbreaking. There have been reminders everywhere that this was such a young girl, only 19 years old. Balloons going in, teenagers hugging one another, still just very much in shock over what happened. Just a little while ago, Mayor Eric Adams came by. He walked into uh, the funeral to the wake to pay his respects. Inconsolable friends and family of 19-year-old Crystal Baron Nieves gathered at the funeral home at East 104th Street to say goodbye. She was always happy and she wanted to change for the better. She wanted to work, get money to get a car. She wanted to go to college. A friend, Nirelis Figueroa, explains Crystal had complained to her manager at the Burger King that she wanted a less dangerous day shift and was moving to that the next week when the teenage cashier was shot and killed at work. At gunpoint, the teenager had quickly handed over cash but was shot anyway. That week was her last week working in the night shift. She was scared. She, she didn't want to go to work that day either. How does that make you feel to think about that? Oh my God, it's devastating. Chilling. You know, her mom is really going through it. My cousin, you know, my uncle, he's really, you know, it's heartbreaking. All who knew her described Crystal as a hard worker who was saving to buy a car and apply to nursing school. A restaurant failed this family. Burger King did not have adequate security. When, the, when a, an employee expressed concerns about their safety, which we as restaurant owners in Uptown and all over the state have to put security all the time. The president of the New York State Latino Restaurant Owners Group is angry about the emotional and financial burden Crystal's family now bears. Friends brought balloons spelling out Crystal's name to the wake. Services moved this week to Puerto Rico for the funeral and burial there Friday into Saturday. You heard from that president of the New York State uh, Latino Bar and Restaurant Association. They've actually just started a GoFundMe page to try to help pay for the wake today, the funeral, uh, everything, all of the costs incurred to go to Puerto Rico for the funeral on Saturday. And a local restaurant has invited the family and friends um, to come tonight for dinner, repast, to so just be able to be together as they work through this.